Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4. When we last left off, we were in apartment world, apparently, because, sure. Uh, and we died, uh, rather horribly, to a uh, ghost, which was a little bit annoying. I was trying to put him down so I could stab him with the sword here, so we could explore the apartment, but, uh... The, man, those ghosts, they're, well... Yeah, they're just fucking stupid. Uh, and irritating. So, anyway, we did find two letters, or at least we found one letter and one half letter. So, I did poke those through the door. So, let's have a little read, shall we? There's red paper stuck in here. I picked up the key that Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. Although, uh, I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. May 20th. There's a torn note. Yeah, we know there's a torn note. I lost the key that I to Eileen Galwin's room. I've got to find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was... God damn it, you fool! You've ruined everything. Right, well, let's head back into the uh, apartment world. I've had a very long, very shitty day at work, so I'm really glad to be back at this. Uh, right, let's go back in. I've been thinking about playing this game all motherfucking day. No joke. And excellent news. The PlayStation 5 um, has been confirmed to play uh, PlayStation 4 games. Now, I'm wondering, considering it's the same AMD architecture, kind of, and the same um, AMD GPU. I'm wondering, will it emulate PlayStation 4 games? Or will it run them natively? Hmm. With using its extra power, of course. Interesting stuff. Anyway, enough of all that speculative bullshit. Although, one thing I will add to that. Please let it natively play PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2, maybe PlayStation 3, if that's possible. Just just do what the Xbox does. Just put the disc in. You know, it's, it's, it's really not that hard. PCs do it. And Sony's created the consoles. So they have all the schematics, all the engineering know-how. And they've created the PlayStation 5. So surely they would be able to make an emulator? Let's not forget that PlayStation 3 originally played PlayStation 2 games and PlayStation 1 games. And PlayStation 2 played PlayStation 1 games. Fuck me, the PSP played PlayStation 1 games. Alright? The PS Vita played PlayStation 1 games. Sony, it's not that hard. Just fucking do it. Anyway, back to Silent Hill. Right, this is the, this is the one we died in last time. So this is going to be interesting. So that one's locked. Yeah, there's a phone number, isn't there? Somewhere. But I don't know if the phone was ringing. Oh, there's a med kit as well, which is cool, I suppose. We'll have a med kit. I don't want to fiddle with that just yet. Because we could hear a phone ringing, but... Oh. Oh, that's all there is to this room. Oh, okay. Well, my darling's number. There are some numbers that look like a phone number. Yes, right. So where is... Where is it? Out of the way, ghosty. Fuck right off. Seriously. Sounds like it's in one of these. Dude, fuck off. I'm not interested. Is it in another room? Maybe. Because, I mean, I can hear it, but... Oh, 
I guess so. Oh, fuck. Actually made me jump. We need some health. We need some health. Let's get out of here. I really want to put that guy down. So we can freely explore, but... Oh. Like, where is that? Oh, hang on. Tenants' lockers are here. Numbers 101 through... Ah, yeah. Didn't we have a locker key? Yeah, what was in here then? I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. That's really all we get. So, I guess she wasn't getting the numbers. Right, let's go back and heal. This ghost is going to be a pain in my ass. And hopefully something interesting will happen when we return to the apartment. So there's something very interesting going on with um, Rachel and Mike. Hmm. There's no phone ringing here. Although I really didn't think there would be. Oh, yeah. In here started, didn't it? Started getting a little bit screwy. What the hell is this? The dry spray blood all over the place. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that happens. Uh, we'll wait for our health to regen. Let's go check on Eileen. Looks like Eileen's okay. Yeah, she's just pacing up and down still. Okay. As long as she's safe. For now, I guess. Uh, do I take some bullets? Nah. There's no point in taking bullets. Like, there's no point even in medical kits. Because... You, I mean, you can just come back here. So, oh, I wonder if the stun gun's any good on on the ghosts. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to have a look at that. Oh, I wonder if we can go into um, Rich. Is it Richard? Yeah, Richard Braintree. I wonder if we can go into his room. How's our health doing? Okay, it's kind of annoying we can't bring up our health. I assume the fact that it's, our health has disappeared. We're um, fully topped up. Yeah, I can't position the audio. I can't work out where that phone's coming from. I mean, it's just as loud in this apartment, uh, in both of those rooms. It's the same volume, I should say. That Let's, let's, let's use English. Oh, we can't go through there. Um, we haven't really searched 107. Have we? Let's go back to 107. This bloody ghost is a pain in my ass. I really want to knock him down. So the sound is coming from the left headphone. But is the sound done on our perspective? Which means it may be coming from the other hallway. Or are we hearing what J uh, Henry can hear? I don't know. Yeah, it's now on the left headphone again. But... Oh. in here fuck off man you are fucking pushing your luck get fucking 
back. Utter. Oh, why? Did, that didn't even hurt the cunt. That didn't even hurt him. Man, these guys suck so much. The fuck? I, I, why is that, like, attack not even hurting him? Get the fuck out of my way. Ah, oh, man. Right, there's nothing there. Ooh. Fuck off. Seriously, buddy, I am really, really not in the mood for you. Like, he goes down for, like, not even a second. And there's nothing here. I can't even read that. What does it say? There are lots of records of music magazines on the shelves. Like, it sounds like it's quite loud in here, but... Fuck off. Yeah, I cannot stand those enemies. Like, they really don't make it fun to explore. Okay. I mean, we can still hear it in here. Yeah, I just, like, I cannot. Let's go in here. I hope the ghost isn't in this floor. No, we got the fly, guys. That's fine. We can handle these. I say. There we go. Come on. There we are. Kill him. Kill him. Kind of needs some more health as well. Right, that's them um, done. <sighs> I guess we can't search that. Ah, interesting. These look like elevators, but... Elevate... Elevators, I guess, to nowhere. Don't say that eighty percent of these um, rooms are going to be empty, because that kind of sucks. All right, let's go into two o three at one o three. Ooh, I mean, there's definitely something on the floor there, but we can't get it. It's like nothing in these rooms. Uh, the cordless fluorescent is giving off an eerie glow. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, I really can't hear. Nothing. I mean, you know, like a pack of handgun bullets or or something. You know, I'd settle with some more um, logs, some more diaries. You remember, like Silent Hill, um, Silent Hill two and three. There was stuff everywhere. There was very few pointless areas. Okay, well. Go through here. Ooh. Can hear gribblies. The furniture seems to be covered with some kind of animal hair. Oh dear. Why do I get the. F oh, okay, that's. F oh, fuck. Leeches. That's fine. I don't care about the leeches. Well, okay then. <sighs> I guess maybe. I guess maybe whatever's making 
or the phone that's making that sound. Don't do that, James. Why am I calling you James? You're not James Sunderland. Um, could be above us. On a floor above us, but that kind of is weird. You would have thought we wouldn't be able to hear it on the floor above. But then you would have thought we wouldn't be able to hear it so clearly here. <sighs> Am I missing something? Quite possibly. It's definitely not getting louder. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a model gun. Totally useless as a weapon. Really, game? Really? You give us a fucking model gun. And we've got ghosts in here, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back and get some health, guys. This sucks. This really sucks. Like, you've got these swords of obedience. Well, a sword of obedience, which is cool, so you're like, I know. I'm going to just drop this ghost and pin him to the floor. But the ghost is like invincible. You can't put him down. So what's the point? I don't know if I'm missing a trick. Maybe I should be using the handgun on him. But he follows you room to room. And if there's only five of these swords in the game, which I've read, I don't want to leave one sword behind. And if I leave one behind, then I'm screwed. But if I take the sword back and move on, the ghost comes back to life. So, oh, I don't know. They're like the biggest irritation, I think. I would rather have had um, more normal enemies than those. I hate unkillable enemies. Uh, we got the super arguing with someone. At least our health uh, does regen, I think, whilst we do these uh, events. Yeah, it does. So, we don't just like have to stand here or like stand here in the apartment doing sweet FA. Okay, nothing's happening. I'm guessing Eileen's not going to do much either. Hmm. I can't see her. I wonder if something happened to Eileen. Oh, shit, son. It's kind of interesting because there's been um, quite a few occasions when we've returned back to this place and we haven't been able to see her, but he's given no shits. Uh, but I suppose the difference with it this time is um, Henry kind of knows. I mean, there's quite the implied threat this time. Hmm. And I'm loving this coffee. Oh. First coffee of the day, and it is quarter past six in the evening. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Um, so I mean, I guess we go back to room one hundred one with the the mod. That's so cruel. I'm like, fucking hell, son. We got ourselves a shotgun. No, no, no. That's really dickish game. I thought we were going to get a sweet ass boomstick. Having said that, uh, I don't think the shotgun would be like any use. Can we like not even take it? All the guns here are just models. All oh, you can fuck right. Oh. Hello. <gasps> it's a chainsaw. Fuck off. Oh, man, I can't stand those guys. Uh, nothing in here, I guess. So, fuck off.
Those guys are definitely up there with the most irritating enemies I've ever experienced in a game. Like, when you're in big open spaces, it's not so bad. You know, because you can just, like, run past them. But in areas like that, where you're just forced to take the hit. Now, let's go upstairs and see if the sound continues. Oh, it's louder now. That's definitely louder now. Fuck off. Okay, yeah, 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 that sound is without a doubt louder now. But there's no indication at all, whatsoever, that that sound is coming from above you. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not expecting Dolby Atmos quality audio, but come on. I hope that ghost isn't right outside. Yes. Like, why do they have to do proximity damage? Ah, oh, there's one in here as well. See, it doesn't add, like, to the terror factor or anything like that. Because they're not scary. At all. It's just fucking annoying. Ooh, bloodstained shirt. There's a torn red... Ah, red paper in the pocket. We'll take it then. Piss off. Can't go through that. And the way they kind of like scrape across the floor, just... I don't know, man. It just looks stupid. Uh... Okay. Right, I'm hoping. Right, it's really... Ah, I was going to say it's really loud now. Yeah, pick it up. There's no one there. All that build up, all that, for nothing. <sighs> cool game, cool. It's a painting of two adults and lots of children. Okay, the memo says 206. How can they even sleep with so many noisy kids? Besides that, they have to live next to Braintree. Ooh, Braintree. What's wrong with Braintree? There's nothing painted yet. It's just a painting of a plump woman. The memo says 204. She's always eating something. But I wish my girlfriend liked to cook like her. Well, why don't you cook your own food? You know? To, uh, 106 is the nurse. My beautiful darling. Lately, she's been so bothered by a stalker. <gasps> the stalker. Obviously, um, Sullivan, I'm guessing. Was... Cynthia. No, that's Cynthia. The nurse was Rachel. Painting. Yeah, 206. We know that much. Okay, so... Ah, man. 202. Self-portrait. Painting of a young man. The Mambo says... 107. He listens to great music. But I feel sorry for him having to live under Braintree. What's wrong with Braintree? Okay. I wonder, is that guy? 
Is that the guy that died in the forest world? Kind of hard to... Hard to make out. This is actually a really cool area, to be honest. Really cool area. Okay, I mean, yeah, sure, the phone was a big old fucking waste of time, but... This area is cool. It's a painting of a man drinking alcohol. The moment says 203. He's so noisy. I wish he would stop all that drinking and fighting. Oh. This must be Richard Braintree. Memo says 207. Braintree, that prick. He's always yelling at kids, especially that weird one that hangs around. That weird one that hangs around is obviously um, Sullivan. Did I say Sullivan? Is it? Yeah, Walter Sullivan. Uh, but he took Mike into his apartment and peeled his skin off. So he's my hero. Wait, what? Brain? Who's who's Mike? Yeah, Mike was um, uh, the nurse's husband or partner. Braintree peeled his skin off. Okay, painting of a man with a gun. Memo says 101. A gun maniac. He's always coughing from his cat allergy. <laughs> Sucks to be you, bro. It's a painting of a man holding a porno magazine. Ah, we know that one. 301. That perverted stalker got what he deserved. Ah. This must be the superintendent. Memo says 105. Sunderland. The superintendent. The super mistakenly thought that Mike was Rachel's lover. Okay, I thought that was as well. It must be the guy who plays video games. The member says 205. He's always shut in his room. Looks like he has lots of weird interests. I heard he tape recorded Mike getting beaten up by Richard. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. There's lots of story going on with, like, all the residents, which is cool. It's kind of hard to take it all in because there's so many, but, yeah, it's, I like it. I do like it. All right, let's go to 201. Oh, fuck's sake. These assholes are following us in as well. Uh, there's only one room we can go in down here. Fuck off. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, that's not actually a room either. Oh, God. Now we've got to push our way back. Fuck off. Oh, get out of the way. Okay, uh, that was actually relatively painless. Yeah, I could imagine like playing this on a higher difficulty would just be absolutely rage inducing. Okay. What's our health like? Yeah, it's not brilliant, but we're okay for now. Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. That better. Now you can see all this fugly. Now, uh, so if we go across, yeah, let's go straight across. <coughs> kind of looking forward to going into Richard's room. I bet that dude's got some serious skeletons in his closet. Ooh, I like the rooms. Oh, I was just about to say, ooh, I like the rooms that don't have ghosts. Lots of weights. Ooh, that looks like a pickup. Oh, this is the video game guy. There are lots of old video game machines lying around. Ha <laughs> ha, sounds like my room. Got a computer. It's a cassette tape. The label said skinned mic. I could listen to the to it on the stereo in my room. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Kind of interesting. Like, he said he peeled his skin off. Like, uh, that's weird. I mean, is that some kind of American slang for he kicked the shit out of him? I've never heard of that before. Fuck off, dude. Seriously. No, that's nothing, I guess. Okay. Get out. Yeah, they really take the, the fun and, like, excitement. Because, like, if I had these keys and I knew I could search all of these rooms, I'd, usually I'd be like, oh, man, this is so cool. Can't wait to have a look at everything. But they just ruin the experience completely. Because you can't take your time and drink everything in. Okay. I'm not going to pretend I remembered... Ah, oh, it's a baby's bed. What all these different... Um, or the inhabitants of all these rooms. Is this the one that had all the kids? There are lots of kids... Well, I mean, I guess so. Kids toy. Oh, shit! Yeah, alright, buddy. Alright. Give you a couple of love taps, my friend. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Whoop. 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 Really? Goddamn fucking muck. There we go. Well played, sir. Well played. It's kind of hard to jump around in this place. But yes, please, game. Can we have more of these enemies and less of the ghosts? Oh, my. how many kids did they have? Holy shit. That's not normal. That's not normal. There we go. Nice. Get out of here, rat. Uh, okay. What's that? Looks like kids graffiti. The writing is so jammed together, it makes me feel sick. And oh, the kids writ all over the walls. Well, I guess we can't read anything here. Can't get over there either. All these rooms and just so little in any of them. Okay. Very grubby looking kitchen as well, like ours. Damn, son. Well, oh man, we're on uh, half an hour over. When did that happen? All right, well, let's just check this one out. Ooh, what's that? It's a golf club. Uh, sure. Well, we'll take the putter. Why not? Oh, we're out of inventory space as well. God damn it. Can't grab anything there. Ooh. <gasps> Hello. Right. Uh... And there's something on that. Oh, is this Richard's room? I guess so. Yeah, the bub. Oh, he disappeared. I can see Eileen Galvin from here. Yeah, just. I'm pretty sure that's room 303. What's she doing in this Oh! Yeah, of course. <gasps> She's in here now. Okay. I can't hold any more. Ah, bollocks. There's men's bloody underwear and a torn shirt sleeve in the gar uh, in the garbage. Ooh. 
Okay, right. So, in that case, we can't explore anything, but there is something there. So, I'm going to go back, guys. I'm going to go back to the, um... Back to our apartment. What we'll do, um... We will heal up. I'm going to jiggle our junk around. Then, we're going to go back here for... Um... Whatever was a it kind of looked like a gun, but I don't know. Whatever that was on the on the desk there. And then I guess we're gonna go look for Eileen. Ah, and we're gonna listen to that tape as well. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.